Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen what is the HTTP basic authentication and how the authentication takes place in the HTTP request I have shown you. So now in this video, we will see the how we can implement this HTTP basic authentication in the Apache. So let's try to see the Apache web server. Then afterwards, we'll try to see the node server. The Apache web server. So if you try to see here, so how we can install the Apache is so you can use it, you can install it using the Apache friends. So the best way to install Apache server is the XAMPP. Okay, XAMPP. XAMPP means Apache, MySQL, MariaDB, PHP and Perl. So here you will be able to see. And this one is available for Linux, Mac, Windows, everywhere it is available. So you can download this exe file and you can install this one. So after installing this one, so you will be able to see this control panel. Okay, so this is the control panel and here I am starting the Apache. So I am starting with the 81 port. By default web server, the Apache will take uh, 80 port. So if you have a 80 port uh, running other server means, so you can start the Apache server in another port. And here if you want to change the configuration file, this is the httpd.config file. So this is the main configuration file in the Apache. And here you will be able to see, here, here you will be able to see listen 81. Okay. So this is the main thing and what I can say here so this is the 81 so if here you will be having 80 if you want to change here you can change it and here these are all the modules which are loaded so if you want to have redirect module and all those things you need to remove the comment here here the hash is the comment not slashes so if you want to have specific uh, website and all those things means you can add the website here so specific IP address and all those things you can add it here so this is all about the Apache configuration. I don't want to go much deeper into this one. Uh, I do don't know more onto this one. So PHP any configuration means is this one is the PHP configuration. So you'll be having the maximum post size. These are all you can change it here. And another configuration which you'll be able to have is that's it. Most probably these are the things only. So now we understood about the HTTP config file. Now we need to implement the basic configuration. So we have this one running right. Now what I can do is I can go into the HTTP docs. So here in the XAMPP in the HDOC, so this is the public. So where the, this is the place where the Apache web server will try to look for the projects or application. So here I am creating a simple one. That is nothing but so sample app or anything. So or otherwise what I can say is, so we are a, a basic auth. So we are trying to implement a basic auth, right? So basic auth. So I'm creating a folder. Let's try to open this folder here. So if I try to open this folder here, you'll be able to see this folder basic cath oh sorry basic cath here i am trying to open this folder so i have opened this basic cath thing so here we have opened this project so here i am creating a new file index.html okay so this is index.html if i create html code in this one let's create the html code and in this html code i am writing h1 Apache is working okay so in order to see this one so there is no need to start the live server and all those things why because already the apache server web server is loading so if you go here into this one and if i load local host colon 81 slash basic cath basic cath and if i press enter see we are able to see apache is working so now we are able to successfully start the Apache server. So fine. So, so far so good. Okay. Now here I'm having a folder. Let's say it's a secret. It's a secret folder. I don't want to, uh, what I want to say is I want, I don't want to make access the files present in this secret. So here, let's say that it is having main.html. Okay. So this is the main.html and here you'll be having an HTML code. So secret so it's a secret file okay confidential file so now if you try to see here basic path if i try to press here and if i go into this one something like a secret and here i'm able to see that code and if i click here it's a secret file i'm able to open it very easily right so without any authentication and all the things i'm able to open very easily in order to have an authentication for this one, what we need to do is, so here we need to create a configuration file. 
So whatever the file, whatever the files present inside this folder, so we'll follow this configuration. So normally we need to keep the file configuration file as .ht axis. ht axis is the configuration file where we can write it. So here you can write something like first one is the options options hyphen indexes. So if you try to see the, if you try to write this one option hyphen indexes. So what it will try to do is so if I try to go back so this one if you try to refresh now I am able to, I am not able to see what are the files present inside this one. So here inside the secret folder what are the files present inside the secret folder I am not able to see. So I am not able to index what are the files. So this one is done using the option hyphen index minus indexes. So if you remove this line now you will be able to see all the files listed here. See so this is how it will happen. So this option indexes is the one of the main thing. Now you, you can also have a dev an HTA axis at the starting. For example, let's say that here you are having a main.html. Let's say we are having this one as a main.html, which is present outside. Okay, so this one is present inside the secret. Now, if you try to see basic path, okay, here I'm able to see this main.html file present and the secret of also present. Here inside the secret, we are not able to access. Why? Because HTA access for file is there inside this secret folder. Now here main.html is there. If I click on this main.html, I'm able to see this one. So if you want to restrict this root means, so you can create a root file here dot ht axis dot ht axis. Okay. So here you can write something like directory index. Okay. Or otherwise what I can say options hyphen indexes. Now it will not show you the files that are present in the basic cut folder root folder. It will not show you previously it is showing, right? So here it is showing, right? Now, if I try to refresh this page, now this time I'm not able to see these file files also. No, but I don't know which file I need to open. So we need to make the user to see some default page, right? So here the default page is index.html, which by default Apache can able to understand. So if you are having other than index.html means, so what you can do is, so this is the main.html, which is a default home page. So here you can write something like directory index, directory index. And here I can mention that main.html is the directory main file or root file. So if I try to refresh this page here, this time I'm able to see Apache is working. Why? Because main.html is the root file. So these type of configurations will be there in the Apache. So, so many configurations will be there, which I know by basic things only I'm trying to explain you. So these are the, these are some of the main directives or directives which are used. So now I don't want to ask, I don't want to allow this folder. Okay, I allow this folder or I allow this particular file. So if you don't want to allow this particular file means so you can write using the file and you can write the code like this. So now if I don't want to allow this file means what I need to do is so you need to introduce auth type basic. Okay, so we are trying to write authentication type. It's a basic and you can mention the auth name. So this can be anything. So just you are trying to mention the type of authentication. So I can mention so some text random text members only. So in order to have an identification. And you need to mention the auth user file. So where these all authenticated users will be available. So you can have wherever you want. So here you can create the file and you can and you can keep all the users passwords user and password here in this file. Or you do so you, uh, you are thinking though you may be thinking that htdocs is the public folder means. So here you can go to the XAMPP and here I, I already created a password folder. Let's delete this one. And here I can create outside a password folders. Okay. passwords folder and in this folders normally the naming conventions for this one is so normal to keep so we will keep it as dot ht password okay pass wd and here you can remove so this is the normal uh, naming convention which we generally keep in apache server the passwords ht password and you can mention this password the path where it is located so the path where it is located is so you know that c zam HTTP password right? Let's copy this one and let's go here and auth user file is present here. So like this you need to mention passwords slash dot ht password. So you need to mention the password file name and here you need to write required valid users. So these are these are all the valid users. That's it finish. So this is how you will be mentioning the authentication. Now we have mentioned this authentication. Now we need to add the users right? So now we don't have any users added in our system. Uh, sorry not in our system. Uh, in our file. So in order to add that one, what you need to do is so here you need to go into this folder. 
let's open the command prompt inside this one and here in this one you can have a password http pssd dot ht passwd so this is the key and here i am adding user with the uh, name username leela and it will ask you the password so i am giving the same password and i will give you a thing so a new password a new user and password has been added in the ht password list if you try to see here open the text in this one if you try to open this one now here you will be able to see leela and some ba and some base 64 encoded format you will be able to see it so this is how we will be able to we have added a username so now what i want to do is so what now okay fine so we have added the users and all those things now i want to see that main.html whether it is user protected or not so let's go into this one and here it is available in the secret i am trying to access the main.html file main.html if i click on enter see now it is asking you the username and password why because the files which are present in the secret folder are all are, are, are authenticated if you try to open this one so if i try to press cancel so you are able you are saying that it is an unauthorized the server could not verify if i try to inspect element this one and let's go to the network and see how it will look like and if i click on the same thing so it is trying to make a request okay it is a trying to make a request so here it has been failed the headers what it has the response address what it has been sent so here you'll be able to see ww authenticate basic realm members only so here members only means the text which we have we added the authentication type is the basic so now it has sent a response header that uh, ww authenticate so by seeing this response header automatically the browser will open a form so if i try to write some random leela and password some random password if i try to add sign in so again it is trying to tell you 401 unauthorized and again it is sending you the ww authenticate and again a pop-up has been opened now if i try to write the correct username and password so leela and leela and if i click on sign in see now i am able to see the file so now i am able to get the file so here now the request headers it is sending using the authorization so somewhere you'll be able to have see this is the authorization basic and this is the base 64 encoded format of our username and password so this is how the authentication mechanism will be going on so now in the apache server we have, I have shown you this authentication mechanism now in the front end in the ajax thing how we can send this authentication thing let's try to see in our next video hope you understood about this apache server configuration so basic thing i have shown you ht access and all the things who are aware was okay front end developers might be finding it a little bit of difficult but it's a uh, worthful learning about these all the concepts also so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you